Hey guys, Stephen Fillers here, back in the garage. Today we're looking at Warren's 4x Fender Flares, and with Warren we have Brad. How you doing, Brad? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for coming in today. Oh, thanks for having us. So Brad, the purpose of this video, I kind of want to cover three major things. The first is going to be kind of the construction of the product, how it's made, what it's made of. Uh, the second thing is going to be the features and benefits. And last but not least, of course, is the installation process. So Brad, starting us off, what about the build quality? Give us that story there. All right, so these are uh, built out of a, it's a multi-layer Senso sand plastic. Okay. So it's not just a blow molded, you know, flimsy ABS plastic. It's right. more of an OE style quality trim piece. And then we paint it with an OE matte black finish mm -hmm. on here. So that's gonna match your, your factory trim really well, but also paintable finish if you do wanna paint them to match. Good deal. And I will say for the viewers at home, you can probably already tell this, but this almost looks like it came from the factory this way. It really is a great design from Warren there. Uh, now moving to the next thing, the features and benefits. What kind of features have you built into this product? So, so the features, you know, obviously there's some additional tire coverage. Yeah. And being the heavier duty plastic, it's actually going to protect that fender and give it a little bit more rigidity okay. than having just that bare fender on there. Mm -hmm. So it is actually a structural piece. We incorporated not only the style of the, of the vehicle, so we're really matching the body lines with them. Definitely. Also integrating some, uh, some splash guard there just to protect that body from the from usually you're running an oversized tire with a, with a flare like this. Mm -hmm. Really what makes these so unique is, is the attachment to the vehicle though. Yeah. So we've got a real heavy duty like H style seal on here, mm -hmm. but the biggest thing with these is most of your pocket style fender flares on the market, these are absolutely cosmetic. Decorative. <laughs> these, are, these are functional, these are actually bolting it to the fender mm -hmm. with what we call super bolts. They are a a bolt that has got an industrial grade adhesive that goes onto the fender. So these are actually functioning bolts. So this thing is not going to flap, it's not going to wiggle, it's not going to rub on this paint at all. That's great. Right. So with most fender, fender flares, you have just a few screws and you're done. It's usually no drill. In your case, with the super bolts, how does that affect the install process? So it does It does make it a little bit more challenging um, where you, you're, you're going to need a buddy. Yeah. Um, you're going to need two people to really line that thing back up and get it positioned in place as you know since you're dealing with those, those adhesives. The process is really to test fit it, kind of mark where these bolts are going to hit. Mm -hmm. There's an adhesion promoter that you put on behind where each bolt's going to land. And then you and a friend line it back up where you got it marked, set it into place, and then press these things onto, gotcha. onto the fender. So speaking about those super bolts, that actually leads us perfectly into the installation process. So let's say on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate this? But also what about a timeline for the average Joe installer out there? Having those adhesive points on there like that, I think yep. this is probably around a five. Okay. Uh, just because of the precision aspect of, of getting it lined up and getting it back on there right. and needing that extra hand, that extra set of hands to make sure it lines up on there. Gotcha. Uh, that first flare is probably gonna take about an hour to do. Uh, and then you should get a little bit quicker as you, as you go on. So probably a half an hour, 45 minutes per flare after that. Okay, so not too bad. At a five out of 10, like we always say, that's probably something you can do on your own. But if you have any questions or hesitations about doing this yourself, check the description below the video. We'll have a dealer locator there so you can find a local dealer in your area who's more than happy to make this install happen for you. Okay guys, so that's a wrap on Warren's four by fender flares. But before we go, Brad, thanks for coming today. All right, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Viewers at home, if you want any more details about the product, check the description below the video. We'll have everything for you there from a part number to again that dealer locator so you can find a local dealer near you to make that purchase or installation choice happen. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer those for you there. Now, if you like the video, leave us a like. If you love the video, subscribe and maybe click the bell icon for notifications anytime we release a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. This has been Performance Corner in the Garage.